Well, hello there, YouTubers. I am out here doing the world a favor. I have taken the time to look at the Quest 3. Uh, I looked at many videos. I appreciate you guys. You guys are super awesome. But unfortunately, a lot of you guys don't have the Quest 2 and the Quest 3 to literally show people what they are and the massive difference. Now, I just got done playing the Quest 3 on uh, Population 1. I've been playing it for a while in the Quest 2. And I can tell you there is no lag, there was no load time, and jumping into another battle, like one after the other, was relatively quick, relatively easy. Uh, the high resolution on it, the 4K setting was phenomenal, it was great. Uh, the 120 degree view on it was great. I was able to see more field view, more detail, and I can say it was, it was relatively wonderful. Uh, so right now I am actually going to show you the Quest 2 and the Quest 3 side by side. Um, I just recently purchased mine about three hours ago. Literally about three hours ago at Best Buy. And, you know, a lot of people were sitting there saying that it was heavier than the original and this and that. Well, unfortunately, my Quest 2 is fully equipped. Okay, we're talking fully equipped. I mean, I got the extended battery, the headrest, I mean, the whole nine yards with it. So, it is a little heavier. I mean, even without that, without the, all those accessories on top of it, I would say it's, it's a little bit lighter than the three, but honestly, with the fully equipped, the three's lighter, a lot lighter. So... Um, I'm actually hoping to uh, get that one built up with the extended battery and everything because I got about a couple of hours on it and the battery was gone. So I've been sitting here for a while waiting for it to recharge so I could try again. But in other words, uh, here is my Quest 3 right here. Awesome little thing. Love it. Uh, I love the pancake lenses that's actually on it which really, really helped with the 120 degree view and the stats with it, with the 4K resolution on it. It's fantastic, it's great, it's wonderful, but I don't like these straps. It doesn't sit right across my forehead and you got like over light coming in from where the nose is and past that, all in all, good review, fantastic. Now, with the Quest 3 controllers, I would actually like to say they're smaller. They are really smaller, a lot more lighter, compared to the Quest 2. As you could tell, um, side by side, underneath, you could tell that the Quest 2 was bigger. This is the Quest 3. And they got rid of the, the ring around it, which is phenomenal. Kind of got, got to get used to it because I'm used to grabbing those holding on to them. But uh, it's really totally good. Um, honestly, I think the rust bands are actually a little bit longer, to tell you the truth. Really. And, I mean, the button configurations, they're, they're absolutely the same. Not much difference. Besides, this one's a little bit darker. Um, really? Uh, I'm not really made of money, so I had to get the low-end one. Did not get the 500 gig one because honestly, I got the biggest one on the Quest 2 and I tell you what, I have yet to fill it up, but I don't play that much on the high resolution games on the VR through the uh, meta app. I use my VR a lot on the PC. Now, I have yet to hook up the, uh, the Quest 3 to my PC, but that will be on another video with a lot more detail, a lot more information about the computer working with the, the VR. Because uh, right now I just upgraded my, my computer, got a really high-end graphics card, uh, new processor, over 140 gigs of RAM. So I'm pretty sure it should handle it. <clears throat> Let's find out. But that's, again, that will be for a later video. But right now, I, I really want to show you guys again, you know, the comparison between, you know, the Quest 3 and my oversized Quest 2. Darn it. My, hold on one second, I just popped something out of the lens here. Uh, 
Yeah. My headrest popped out. It's old. Sorry, it's old. But you know what? I'll deal with that later. Um, right now, here is the Quest, Quest 2 in my right hand. Here's the Quest 3 in my left. Um, you can take it to see for yourself that, you know, they're about the same in width. Um, as for the front part of it, it's a lot slimmer than the two on that department. But honestly, a lot of people want to say that, you know, it's a lot smaller, it's a lot of this, it's a lot of that. Honestly, I mean, the white front view is very good. The fan output on the, on the three is fantastic. I can feel the air moving through there. And I'm not getting fogginess in the lenses when I get, when I start heating up, when, you know, the VR is heating up. And we all been there. We know what, we know what I'm talking about. But uh, honestly, if I actually put this back on, I could show you a really good comparison with the depth size of each one of them. Um, if you subtract the accessory headrest I got for this one, um, honestly, I would like to say that the three is a little smaller, but it's, I want to say it's the same depth really because I mean there's not much to it but um I did try the mixed reality with it um it's gonna take some use to, used to because the uh, front camera vent uh lenses that they have up here and on the side really 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 do help on you know scaling out your room and stuff like that but <clears throat> excuse me on the other hand it's it's gonna take a minute to get used to again once again um but i've also noticed that there is a button on each side of the quest 3 that's yeah i don't know if i can get that to show um during this light but there's a button right here that you can push and you can actually push forward the soft part of the lint uh the headrest forward or backwards to you know give you more uh fuel depth or better relaxation I'm trying to put it back together here <coughs> which is a nice feature i believe now the dial in dpi right here is that's fantastic it's wonderful uh, because with the Quest 2, there's some games that weren't, the resolution wasn't right, so I had to push them together, reach up inside, push them together, or, you know, try to pull them apart to get a better view of what I was looking at. Uh, that, I, I really like that because it's it's an analog thing. You can just do it right on the go. It's free, it's fantastic. It's wonderful. Um, honestly, if I had the money, I would have got the big 500 gigger, but again, I don't have that many games on the Quest, the Quest 2 or any of the Quest to even fill up 500 gigs. I mean, honestly, I think that's a little overkill. Uh, the games I got right now, I, I've got like five or six games, and i am still got like 83.5 gigs free. So, I mean, for like the bigger games that are, you know, 70, 100, 200 gigs, I would say go with the 500, but... Uh, for the three, the Quest 3, for sure. Uh, if you like to jump between the, the VR headset itself or jump to your PC back and forth, I would say that would it, it's excellent. It's wonderful for that. And for a lot of those people out there that's asking and wanting to know, hey, is it backwards compatible? Does it work with the 2? Does it work with the Rift? Um, so far right now, I have went all the way back to the Oculus Rift and it does play the games. It does play it perfectly great. Uh, resolution, uh, it hasn't changed, but it's a little bit softer to the eyes. It's not so pixelated. Uh, the load time on it was, wow, uh, milliseconds, honestly, for an older game. And, you know, a newer game like Population 1, the leg in it was gone. It was, it was, mm, it was perfect. So, um, once again, I mean, I'm just, I'm not new to the VR stuff. I'm just trying to get the information out there to let you people know, let people know, you know, the size difference, what it, how it feels, why it feels that way. 
Um, the only thing I could say that is a bad thing about the Quest 3 is, again, these chintzy head straps. I don't... Mm -mm, no. I, I'm, I'm spoiled. I am spoiled with my, my accessories because on the Quest 2, um, I got this off of Amazon. Relatively cheap. It was about, about 40 bucks. Worth the price. I mean, it's got nice cushions on it for the for your forehead, the top of your head, and it really blocks out a lot of the top lighting for it. But uh, I'm hoping to find one for the Quest Three because, unfortunately, uh, this accessory here is too small to fit onto the Three. As you can see with the Three, the side is a lot wider than the Two. If you look at the white part right here. Um, yeah, I mean, I thought it would fit because I was looking at the, you know, the width on the black, the black strip for the accessory for the headrest and th thought it would work. Uh, no, it didn't work. Darn it. I'm trying to be cheap after buying something really expensive. Um, other than that, I, I would say, you know, It's worth it. It's going to be worth it in the long run because, I mean, the Quest 2 was out for a really long time before the 3 came out. And with the evolution of technology and the gameplays and the cross-platforms between the PC and the VR, for a wireless virtual reality, I would say this is pretty good. This is really good. So... I mean, I'm, I'm speaking from an average Joe guy that works, you know, 40 hours a week, you know, drives truck and, you know, I park the truck or something. I can grab that, watch a movie, you know, play a game. I mean, who knows, who knows, connect up with the old lady while the two's here, you know, play a game with her. And uh, that's the other thing I do want to say is that the uh, Quest 3 and the Quest 2 are universal on connecting with one another. So if somebody's got a Quest 2 and you got a Quest 3 and you guys are still friends or whatever, they got a 2, you got the 3, you guys can still play together. It's, I think it's pretty cool. Um, so, again, just an average Joe went out, got this thing. And I, I really wanted to get it to clear up the air with people, you know, the size, the weight, I mean, the features. Because, you know, bless your guys' hearts. I mean, you guys went out and got the three. Never really had a VR before in your life outside of a PC VR. And you know what? The VRs that are meant for the PC, that's a whole different ball game. Those things are way heavier. Got more freaking graphic cards in them. Better processor. I can't say better processors, but different processors, different RAM and stuff inside them. So you can run it off your PC. But, again, the Quest... It's wireless. You could take it off the PC cord. You can do, you can use the wireless part of it, your Air Link, hook it up to your computer, and go for it. So, I mean, again, just wanted to clear the air with an average Joe. I mean, not made of money, but, you know, wanted to reach out to the community, let everybody know, hey, this is good, this is wonderful. I mean, even the guy at Best Buy wanted me to come back and tell him one of my reviews, which I'm probably going to end up taking him in this video to let him know so he can tell his buddies. So, you know, if you guys got any questions or whatever, man, hit the submit button and you know what? Leave a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And you know what? You guys have a great and awesome day. I mean... Looking for you guys. I mean, if you guys make a comment, you want to be friends on, on the Oculus... Send me a request. I'm I'm under Norseman83. Find me. I'll put that description down in the bottom. So if you want to add me to a game or something, I'll be more than happy to play with you guys. So on that note, peace out. Love you guys. Enjoy it once you get it. And when you get it, man, have fun. See ya.